Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we have a very fun video today that I'm quite excited for. So when it comes to designing books for KDP, you've got a bunch of different options, but I think your main two options are Canva and BookBolt. So I love Canva and I love BookBolt, but there are a lot of differences between these two tools. And a lot of you have been asking me like which I prefer, Canva or BookBolt. And honestly, it kind of comes down to what your priorities are, what you're looking for in a book designer. And so that is the purpose of this video today. I'm going to be breaking down all the different perks, all the different downsides, so that you can get a feel for what it would be like to design with Canva versus BookBolt. So let's get started. Okay, so now a quick overview. First off, Canva. Canva is a great graphic design tool, but the main purpose of Canva is design. That is pretty much all that it does. But when it comes to design, Canva is amazing. So if you're looking to do like a bunch of different types of graphic design, Canva is a great all around tool for like pretty much anything when it comes to design. And then with BookBolt, BookBolt is pretty much just targeted to KDP, creating low content books. So you know, with KDP, we've got keyword tools, we've got niche research tools, we've got listing tools, and then there are also design tools. So KDP has a little bit of everything and it's great if you're looking for something specifically for KDP, completely targeted to it. And if you're just looking for an all around tool for all your KDP needs. All right, the first aspect that we are going to talk about is pricing. With Canva, Canva is free for use. However, you can purchase the Canva Pro subscription, which comes to $120 a year, which is basically 10 bucks a month. Definitely not bad by any means. I have the Canva Pro subscription. I love the Canva Pro subscription, but at the same time, I use Canva for all sorts of different things, not just KDP. So like, Canva is my go-to graphic design tool and the pro plan is perfect for that. But again, you can just get started for free, see how you like it, and you can even try out the Canva pro plan. They've got a 30 day free trial. If you wanna go check it out, make sure to go down and click the link in the description to check out Canva. I love Canva. I cannot speak high enough praises for Canva, and I would highly recommend that you go and check it out. And now for BookBolt. So BookBolt is $90 a year, which comes down to $750 a month. Definitely cheaper, but BookBolt also has a pro option. And the only difference is that it includes PuzzleWiz, which is another software created by the BookBolt team, just so you can create puzzle books and activity books as well. So we're talking like crosswords, dot to dots, things like that. Personally, however, I wouldn't really recommend doing this. If you really, really wanna create activity books, then go ahead and get the pro plan. But personally for me, I find that PuzzleWiz is just a little bit too simplistic. I prefer, I just use Canva if I'm going to create an activity book. It takes a lot longer, but it gives me more customization and I'm not as big a fan of the customization in PuzzleWiz. So I would say just go with the regular plan if you're going to do BookBolt. And also with BookBolt, unfortunately you can't start for free like you can with Canva, but you can do a three day free trial to see if it's something you want to continue using. And I do have a coupon code, Sarah20, for 20% off. So make sure to go click the link in the description to check out BookBolt. So make sure to try that out as well. So I'm gonna be going over everything, but at the same time, I think you should just delve into both software programs and see which you prefer when it comes to design. So when it comes to pricing, I would say that BookBolt wins just because it is cheaper, but it really comes down to your priorities. And now for sizing. So this one's fun. With Canva, unfortunately you have to choose all the sizing yourself. You can go to the create a design button. It does give you a bunch of options, all a bunch of different stuff like that. And it gives you the dimensions for those, but it doesn't have KDP dimensions. So you'll have to put those in yourself, especially because the KDP dimensions are so specific. So you need to figure out the exact dimensions that you'll need for the book that you're going to create. And the way that you can do that is go to the KDP cover calculator, grab the dimensions, make sure to check out my last video on this because I show you exactly how to do that. But basically you can use a cover calculator to get the dimensions and then just put them inside of Canva. And then that's a super duper easy way to create your cover design. And then with your interior, you would just use the same dimensions for the interior you choose. So if it's six by nine, you do six inches by nine inches, pretty simple there. And then one thing with Canva is it doesn't have a guide. You can kind of use a sort of guide like around the edges, but that's Canva's thing. It doesn't have anything to do with KDP. So it is harder if you're trying to figure out where the spine is and you'd have to go through some like pretty manual ways to try and figure that out as well as maybe just doing some trial and error uploading it to kdp seeing exactly where the spine is just going back and fixing it so it is a little bit harder figuring out exactly like what the sizing is and what the measurements are for your cover but fortunately you can choose the exact dimensions that you want and so that is a great plus to canva 
All right, book bolt. Book bolt makes sizing incredibly easy. It has a built-in calculator for both your cover and for your interior. And they even recently added a hardcover option with the addition of hardcover books with KDP. And book bolt has a guide within the design that you choose. So it shows you all around the book, like your cutoff. So like don't put text or any important design elements there. And it even shows you where your spine is, which can be really hard to figure out when it comes to Canva. So honestly, I think being able to see exactly where the spine is is a huge plus side when it comes to book bolt and just designing KDP books in general. Though it does take like up to a minute to generate the template, but fortunately it doesn't take too long. All right, I would say for the sizing aspect that book bolt wins, Canva gives you a lot of options, but when it comes to ease of use and just user friendliness with designing KDP books, book bolt makes it a ton easier. And now the next factor we're going to discuss is elements. All right, Canva. This is like Canva's strong suit. They have have tons of graphics, tons of photos, so many different elements that you can choose from and incorporate into your designs. However, if you have the free plan, you are limited to the graphics and photos that you can use. If there's a little crown by it, you cannot use these graphics, unless of course you have the pro plan, in which case you are free to go. Also, when it comes to copyright stuff, you're able to use whatever graphics are available to you within Canva. You don't have to worry about attributing any designers. The main thing is you have to make sure you edit the design. Like you can't just blow up an image and put it across and call that good. But at the same time, you have to put the word notebook or something like that on your book anyway. And so that counts as editing. So you're pretty much good when it comes to copyright stuff. And also with Canva, you are able to upload and edit all the photos that you want, which gives you even more variety if you have something else that you want to incorporate into your designs. And editing photos is awesome as well. Like you can change anything from the saturation to removing the background, all sorts of different stuff. Like I love editing photos in Canva. Canva gives you a bunch of different options there as well. All right, book bolt. So this is one of those things I don't like as much about book bolt. They don't have a lot of variety. Currently at the time that I'm creating this video, they have 54 shapes that you can use in your designs. Things like butterflies, Pac-Man, just a simple square. Though they do have a lot of customizability, like you can make them bigger or smaller. And unlike most of the Canva elements, you're able to expand them more horizontally or vertically. So that would kind of give it a squishy look, but Canva doesn't have that option. So that is a plus with book bolt. So with book bolt, you'd probably need to upload your own graphics to use. Unfortunately, you can do that within book bolt, which is awesome. And another fun plus side to book bolt is that they even give you the option to draw on your book, which is something that Canva doesn't do. Though there isn't too much you can do with drawing, you can pretty much just change the color and the size of your brush and then just go to town. But honestly, unless you're like some big artist, you probably aren't going to want to draw on your book anyway, because it's probably not going to look as good. I hate to break it to you. All right. When it comes to elements, Canva definitely wins in this category. There is just so much more variety. And honestly, it would be really hard for Book Bolt to match that. Now, the next factor we're going to talk about is text. So Canva has a lot of different text options. There are a bunch of different fonts. There are also font combinations that you can choose from. And that can give you a little bit more inspiration when it comes to the text that you're going to put on your book and the design that you'll use for it. And also with Canva, one thing that is a little bit unfortunate is that there are a lot of fonts that you would require the pro plan for in order to use. There are also a ton of free ones, so not too big of a deal there. And there are a ton more options, in my opinion, when it comes to Canva text and just how you can edit it. Like a bit more recently, they gave the options that you can add shadows behind your text, you can hollow out the text, you can give it a neon effect, you can even curve it, which is something that people used to do manually in the past. And you can even add a background behind it. So instead of having to grab a rectangular element and put it it behind it and then just drag them both on top of each other. You can just do that automatically with the text effects. And then with Book Bolt, Book Bolt also has a lot of fonts actually. They use pretty much all the free Google fonts that are already available to you. So you've got a lot to choose from. And they also have a fair amount of variety when it comes to being able to customize the text. You can curve the text just like in Canva. And they also have bridge and oblique effects which it's kind of hard to describe, but it's like it squashes it in the middle, makes it fatter on the end or fatter in the middle, like thinner on the end, something like that. So you can kind of play around with that. However, in my opinion, I'm not as big a fan of that. Like I think curved text can look fun, but kind of like doing the bridgey stuff, it, it looks a little weird in my opinion. And I don't think it would look as good on a notebook. So when it comes to text, I'd say this is another one that Canva also wins. There are just so many fonts that you can choose from. And so many of them are just so pretty. And I absolutely love the effects that you can use inside Canva. All right, the next aspect is unique features. Canva and Bookbolt both have a bunch 
bunch of different features that differ from the two of them. And there are some great ways that you can utilize these features within your designs. So I'd say the main thing with Canva is that all the graphics, elements, photos that you can choose from is like one of the biggest plus sides. But there are a couple unique features that make Canva really cool as well. Canva has a ton of templates that you can use for inspiration. You can edit them, incorporate them into your design. You can also create your own brand kit. And with all the different graphics that you can choose, you can even favorite them, save them in a folder so you can refer back to them later and it makes it easier to access them at a later date if you want to create another notebook similar to the one that you've created before. And Canva has the ability to resize your designs. Granted, this is a pro feature, but I love being able to resize and it's great as well if somehow you got your dimensions wrong, you can very simply just go back and resize it. Or if you want to create a notebook just like the one that you created, like that was in a six by nine size, but instead, in an 8.5 by 11 size, it's very easy to do that. And then with BookBolt, BookBolt actually has a lot of surprising features that are really fun when it comes to creating notebooks. The first one is masking. So this one is really cool. If you are using text, and instead of just doing a solid color for that text, one thing you can do is take an image, like let's say you've got like some cute polka dot image and you upload that and you just put that over top. You can use the mask effect to basically shape that image to form where the text is. So instead of just, you know, notebook in solid black, instead it's got like fun polka dots through it. And this is also great if you want to create like a gold foil look, like you can take just an image that's gold foil and mask it. And then you've got text that looks like it's got kind of this like crinkly gold foil look that you can't do inside Canva, which hopefully Canva makes something like that in the future because I think that would be super cool. But in the meantime, you can do that in Book Bolt. And then another fun feature is patterns. I love patterns. I've created a bunch of books with patterns. So with Canva, you have to do this more manually, unfortunately. It's not too hard, but Book Bolt allows you to do it automatically. So obviously that's a plus. So let's say you have a graphic of a flower and you want to create a pattern with that throughout your book. All you have to do is put it on your book wherever you want it and then click the patterns button and then just choose the pattern that you want and then BookBolt will automatically generate a whole pattern using that graphic and it's completely even, very cohesive and it can look really pretty if you do it right. And then another fun thing is that they have a distressing effects that you can use for your notebook. It probably wouldn't look good on a ton of different designs but this is also just a fun unique feature that Canva does not have that can add just a little extra flair to your books that could look super cool if you do it right. So when it comes to unique features Features, I would say that this is one that BookBolt definitely wins. Canva has a lot of variety, but I think when it comes to tools, it's kind of a lot of the same. They've got a lot of great stuff, but in my opinion, BookBolt's tools are a lot more unique in this way. And now we're going to talk about the download aspect. So with Canva, they give you a lot of different options for how you want to download your book. You can download it as a PNG, as a JPEG, as a PDF standard, PDF print. You're going to want PDF print for both your cover and your interior. So it's great that Canva gives you that option. And there are also a couple other options you can choose, like making the background transparent or changing the size when downloading it. Granted, I think the majority of these options require the pro subscription, but hey, they also give you a little bit more variety. So that's really fun. And then BookBolt. BookBolt, again, they take care of it for you. When you go and press the download button, they will create your download for you the exact way that it needs to be. So basically as a PDF print, and then it'll open in a new tab, and then you can just go ahead and download that and your book is ready to go. And then the thing with the interior downloading it, so this is both when you're creating it and when you're downloading it, they give you two consecutive pages that you can work on. So it looks similar to the cover. However, basically you're pretty much only able to choose two different pages and they can only be consecutive. So let's say you have like a picture of a sun on one page and a picture of a bird. When you go to download your book, so let's say you chose an interior of 120 pages, you'd have page one would be sun, page two would be bird, page three would be sun, page four would be bird. And honestly, I don't think that there would be a ton of books where this feature would be useful. And honestly, I think it would be a little more annoying than it would be helpful. Like I think it'd be better if the interior, if it were just one solid page, because of the two pages, if you want them all to be the same, you're gonna have to create it twice. And I don't think there are gonna be many books where you'd want two different pages like back to back throughout your book. But the fact that a book bolt will create your entire interior for you, like with Canva, if you want to create an interior, you're going to have to create that number of pages and just kind of duplicate them. Granted, it allows for more customizability. Like if you want to have a this book belongs to page and the rest line pages, 
it's a lot easier to do that than if you were to do it through book bolt so the book bolt they do make it easy to create but at the same time if you want to have it exactly the way that you want i think it would be a bit harder and longer to do in the long run so when it comes to the download aspect i would say that this is one that canva definitely wins they just give you a lot more options book bolt makes it easy but canva i just love the variety with it all right, that's it. Honestly, Canva and BookBolt tie. It really comes down to what is most important to you. So to sum up, Canva is so great. There's so much variety, so much versatility, so much customizability. You can create pretty much any design that you want through Canva. They give you so many different options. And if you are planning on using Canva beyond just KDP books, then Canva is an excellent tool for that. Like, I mean, I use Canva for my YouTube thumbnails, for my cute slides that are probably going to be in this video. Like Canva just gives you so much. And that's why I love Canva so much. And at the same time, it's user-friendly. It gives you a lot of customizability without being overly complicated. And then the great thing about BookBolt is that it's made just for KDP. With Canva, you have to go through some more manual efforts in order to create your book and download it and everything. But BookBolt does it all for you and there aren't quite as many options there's not as much variety but they do have a lot of fun unique features that make up for this so in the end canva is great if you want more graphic design features if you love graphic design if you already kind of have a feel for how kdp books work but if you're just getting started and you're having a hard time figuring out things like sizing and all that i'd say start with book bolt because the fact that they do all the work for you it's really easy because you don't have to remember that everything that you download needs to be in a pdf print you don't have to figure out the dimensions mentions like you can just do it all inside book bold without needing any outside resources except for maybe a few images if you want some more variety with the designs that you create all right that's about it make sure to go and click the links in the description if you want to check out either book bold or canva or maybe both of them i would recommend giving both of them a shot because i do like both of them they do both have their own unique features and they're great for different purposes so i would recommend both of them and it really just comes down to what is more important to you when it comes to designing your kdp books all right guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this i would super duper appreciate it and i would love to have you all right guys i hope you have a fabulous day bye